or upset you. Okay, so this is the last question, and I think this is more like a firecracker. It sure was because uh, again, when I read it, I was like, "What? What's going on, baby?" <laughs> the reason why I brought this up because, like I said, basically this whole show came about because of what I go through, like the stuff that be on my mind and stuff. Yeah. All right, so what the, I'm gonna say the question, and I'm gonna explain where it comes from. Okay, so the question is, or the statement is, um, black men and their uncontrollable fuck the police mentality, right? What happened was I was conversing with a guy. Mm -hmm. And so he's really aggressive. Like he was really super aggressive. Um, he, he don't like the police as most black men don't are, I guess, black people, period, you know. Right. But uh, I could tell, I was like, he, I could tell he was going to be a problem. Like if he was to get pulled over, he would be a problem. So I said, because of what's on TV and what's not just TV, like it's fake reality, but it's real shit that's going on with black men dying, you know, by the hands of the police. Hence, uh, Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, you know, all that stuff. I told him, I said, hey, if we're dating, if we're going to start dating, I said, um, I need you to leave out the house with the mentality of coming back home. Um, if you do get pulled over by the police, even though I know you don't like them, I said, do what you need to do respectfully to bring your ass back home. I said, if we have a family, we got kids, I'm your wife and everything. I said, you need to think about that. Don't be thinking about, oh, he ain't going to play me. He ain't going to hold me. I know my rights. I know like, yeah. They don't give a fuck about that. Clearly, we see it on TV. They don't care about that. So I said, when you walk, when you get pulled over, you roll down that window and you start doing all that back talk, even though you know you ain't do nothing wrong. I said to me, you telling me fuck me, fuck our family, bump these kids, and you are on a suicide mission. Just do what you need to do to make it back home to us. And we will, act, like you said earlier, black women, we go handle it. Oh, I'm going to get on social media. I'm a, right, I, yeah. now, That's one time the tears go. I might have to put on my Nicki Minaj, you know, <laughs> and yeah. put on my acne skin. Not acne because it's real. It's going to be right. real tears and real concerns and real, like, it's going to get handled. Best believe that. But just make it back home. Like, ugh, yeah. I hate that rah-rah, like, fuck 12 and da-da-da, and they can do this and they can do that. I'm like, so... So you initially you telling me that too? You like because you're not trying to make it back home. You know what's gonna happen. Unfortunately, we don't want it to happen, but we done seen it on TV. Like I, I saw, a, um, I posted uh, maybe a couple months ago, uh, um, a, a ad or whatever it was, like a um, a screenshot of something where it was like check on your black friends. Like we're emotionally tired. Like we're 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 drained with the marches yeah. and the scene, cutting on the TV and breaking news. And like, it's just, you know, so that's how, I, that's why I came up with that because of him, because he had the mentality of that. And I was like, you don't think that's dangerous? You So you think, because you know your rights and you gonna make sure you tell him, you know your rights and you ride with a, a, a camera and you, they don't care. Yeah. Change your ass, make your ass, canine your canine dog your ass. Like, yeah. so you so so I said basically you telling me to take out a nice insurance policy on you. That's what you say. I agree, Ashley, to an extent. You know, I feel like, you know, like you mentioned, because of the relationship that black men particularly have with the police. Um, in the black community, it's already going to be on the defense. Mm -hmm. Like black men are already on the defense, even if it's something don't even got nothing to do with you. You see the police over there. It's like, I'm going to go this way because I already know if I go over there or get close to it, I could be linked into something that I have absolutely right. nothing to do with. So it's like automatically, it's just like when you mention police, black, it, it just it's just not a, a good feeling to be in. You know what I mean? And I understand, you know, because at one point I felt the same way about, you know, like, you know, at the end of the day, we know like police brutality exists. We know that yeah. they target black men. 
And so we know these things. And although we know that it's not right, like you mentioned, Ashley, like at the end of the day, I want you to come home. And it's almost like it's you have to bite the bullet. And it's not right that yeah. we have to do that. It's not right that anybody has to do that. But at the end of the day, it's like, I want you to be able to come home. So it's like, even if you have to just comply or That's do fine. whatever, it's like, I would rather you do that than to get shot. I would rather you just, you know, bite your tongue and not say nothing and still be able to come home. But again, that's that's what they, I don't want to say that's what they want us to think, but a lot of the instances that's been happening recently within the last few years, you've seen the situations where they are completely calm and they're compliant. It's just that they don't like to see that you know your rights. They don't want to see that you can be calm and still articulate without raising your voice. You know, they see that as threatening. Even if you're saying, okay, well, you did X, Y, Z, and you tell them, um, no, I didn't, and this is my right to do X, Y, Z, they're going to be like, oh, she thinks she's doing this, or he thinks he knows more about the law than me. Even if you're being completely non-aggressive, but you're still complying, like they're going to still see that as a threat because they want to exert that authority over you. So it's just like, even if you're not being aggressive, you still see the instances where police still abuse their authority. So it's like now it's, it's really hard to like say that. Or, you know, when they tell people, okay, they used to tell guys, okay, pull your pants up, dress like somebody, right. act like you got some sense, all these other things. It's just like, you can do all of that still. You can have on a full-blown suit. And if they still feel like they don't like you as a black man walking up and down this street and you look suspicious, they're going to pull you for looking suspicious. It don't matter if you got on the suit. Now, it might, it, it might be harder for them to prove that to the public. Like, we know this person, they're upstanding citizen, all this other stuff. But in their mind, oh, nope, that was a suspicious black man. I don't care if he did have on a suit, he disguising himself. So it's just like, even in those instances, it's hard to say, don't be aggressive. Because if I don't be aggressive, what? how do you explain the situations where you have these men that's completely complying, hands up, I don't have anything, I'm doing exactly what you told me to do, and boom, I get shot in the back. Like, you behind me, like, I'm not even coming towards you. I get shot in the back. Like, I wasn't aggressive. I'm doing what you told me to do. But because you feel like you feel threatened by me, like, you just do those things. So it's really hard to say, like, not be aggressive or, like, to have Black men kind of control their emotions um, their emotions pride. or the way they feel about, you know, towards the police because you got you know, long examples of, of, of how all of that has been abused. Like, you, you don't have many examples, unless it's like, you know, in a in your community and y'all just have a, a close-knit relationship where you know the cop or whatever the case may be. Overall, it's just Black men, they're not going to have a very good relationship with police, especially like Black men that um, are in the hood or, lo or in low poverty areas. Like, they're not going to have that relationship. Maybe, you know, not every black man is afraid of the police. They don't hate the police. You know, some of them, they are police officers. And, you know, you know, much respect to them, whatever the case may be. Yeah, you know, respect. Yeah, because, you know, when we when we start talking about, like, you know, reform, reforming and all that other stuff and really getting our black faces in, you know, that's another place they need to be, too, um, just for safety reasons. But, you know, it's just, it's just different. You know, some black people, some black men, you know, they have, they don't, have any fear of the cops they like cops or whatever case may be so again it kind of just goes by you know the examples that you have around you but widespread is just not a good mix you know with black men and the police and you know it's just I mean it's expect I mean you have to expect that I mean if you just look at the history I mean it's not a Unfortunately. surprise Unfortunately. yeah it's, it's it's not a surprise but like you said Ashley I just would rather if I'm gonna have to choose something, I'm I'm just gonna rather you do what you gotta do to make it back home. Whether that's like a spouse or like my brothers or your uncles, your cousins, it's just like yo, I know like it's some crazy stuff going on right now, and know the way that they treat us is not right. But at the end of the day, like I just rather you do whatever you gotta do to come home. Like if they tell you right. to do this, put your hands on the steering wheel, do whatever, because you just need to come home. I would rather you do that than to be shot. You know. And and at this point. Even when I did the, you know, they slapped the phone. Up. Even when they do that, now it's it's so like you said, widespread that you got back up. I mean, the police got back up, but you got back up because you got people. Out. When they, now when you see cars, police cars, yeah, we do go the other way. Like I ain't getting in that, but now it's like, oh no, hold on, let me let me take yeah. my phone out and record. Like now that's you got true. people because of everything that's going on. But um, 
like I said, I'd rather you stand beside me at this news conference and we talk about what happened with everybody's video that was taken versus me standing at this news conference with my attorney beside me and I'm standing there crying, you know, yeah. wanting you with my children, with our children and stuff, you know. So I know that you you know your rights and all this other stuff, but please, please don't go on a suicide mission. I, I get that, yeah. you no, know, it is it like, even when you are calm, but just just I guess you gotta go. And I hate that because I, I I saw something where, you know, it's so sad. It's so yeah. sad, but it's it's so needed. Like black men are teaching their teaching their sons how to drive. And it's not, you know, parallel park or you know, stop it. It's driving while black. Like yeah. when you get pulled over by do this, make sure your hands are here, make sure you got everything here where you know you say, Hey, I'm um, reach with that. Hand. I'm like, that shit is sad, bro. Like it, it, it is really sad. is. But it's it necessary. Really is. Sad. As necessary as it is, it's very sad. But that's it like is. I'd rather you know yeah. me hope for the best or you know, act like things are gonna change in the next five years or something like that. Yeah, it's it's what sad that we have to do that, but I mean you kind of got to just like you know it's situations where you know I've seen it a lot of times in movies it happens in real life you know you have a kid let's just say it's a black a black kid black boy you know he has his white friend you know the parent has to have conversations with him because it's just like you get in a situation you can't react the same way your white friend react because he can get away with something you on the other hand you can't get up in there you get stuck like if, for example if we're using like getting stopped by the police I mean, they can get away with, you know, I didn't do anything. Da, 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 da. You know, they're going to be a little, they're going to handle him a little bit different because if you get up there talking about why you doing this and why they doing that, they're going to be ready to pull that gun. Like, it's like you really have to talk to them because it's just like their interactions is going to be so different than their counterparts. And as much as they want to believe that, you know, it's going to be the same, it's really not, you know, it's just not. And it's, 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 it's hard to have those conversations and it's a shame that we have to but again we want if we want our our black men our kids family members to come home safe we gotta have those conversations right it's just the reality of the thing of yeah everything. yeah definitely. would you like to add anything to it courtney or no i mean y'all basically said everything that i was thinking because i mean a black man are probably always going always to have that you know fuck 12 type of mentality because they are a target minorities in general are a target black men especially so i mean that's always going to be there i don't i don't see that change anytime soon but you know where i would it comes to a point where is your pride more important than your family so like you guys said get home get home yeah. I, but i understand where you're coming from you know type right. of thing so, yeah. i mean there's nothing i can add on because i was literally thinking the same thing yeah because we have to do that too like this kind of different too as black women it's just like we get into spaces where we're seen as inferior or we can't speak up or whatever the case may be it's just like I gotta save my job I can't really say what I want to say because they're gonna think I'm I'm miss know-it-all and I know more than CEO even if I know I do I can't say it because they're gonna think xyz so it's just like okay we got to kind of bite the bullet even though we know better we got to act dumb so these people can think they're doing so we got to Tone it down a little bit. I'm like, Literally, I was just telling Ashley about the situation at the clinic. I was extern at the clinic that um I'm working at, and uh -huh. I they hired me on. I'm the only black girl there. The next extern that came after me, she came from my same school, and she's a black girl too. Now, two of the girls in the back got real bad attitude. One's like mm -hmm. fake, nice, nasty, and then the other one, she's just been nasty from the beginning. Like I respect her the most because she was a bitch from the beginning. She was, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the other girls, they like to act like they nice and then time bitch. But she, the girl, the other black girl who was ex turned in there, she left early one day. And I noticed she's gone because I mean, we don't have black people in that building. I'm gonna notice she's gone. <laughs> but mm -hmm. she left early one day and we were talking in the break room the next day and she was like, She's like, I had to leave early yesterday. I said, yeah, I noticed that. And she's like, cause she's like, I had to, when I went to lunch, I had to sit down and think like, is it me? Am I tripping? And I was like, no, you're not. I was like, those girls are just bitches. And they're, you know, they want your failure. <laughs> like, they mm -hmm. just, they're, they're just nasty. Yeah. She's, they like, she's like, I had to leave because I was going to get real. She got quiet. And then she's like, just like black girl. You know what I mean? She's like, 
but they're gonna look at me like this angry, upset, bitter black girl getting crazy in this office and not someone with like a valid reason of why they're upset. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. were, like, I was like, I'm going through it now every day, girl. I was like, I know exactly what you mean because I know the minute yes. that I get smart, they're gonna look at me like the angry black girl. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's exactly kind of going back to what we said the, during the last episode is we have to start talking about as black men and women the things that we go through and the things that we have to overcome on a daily basis just like that even in those two examples you have us talking about how the interactions with the cops how it is for black men then you have black women you go places it's like you always have somebody trying to silence you and you can't really say what you want so like you're really like you're really censoring yourself all all day and not being able to really say how you really feel so it's just like we have to understand like the things that we both go through and how can we help each other like how can and I really want to see today where it's just like so natural like how we can get to a point where black men are the first ones to defend the black woman where black women are the first one to to defend the black man like like you said what by him like I don't even know him like that's how I am that I really like when I see stuff like that like I don't even know what this brother been through but if I see him like having a hard time with somebody like I'm gonna see if I can like try to assist or like you know a <laughs> black man see a woman you know struggling doing something you ain't gotta say oh well, that ain't my woman her man need to handle that it's like no like my sis needs some help let me just slide over here and see like what kind of assistance like I want to see us get to that point where it's just like nah I ain't gonna let you talk it's about not, him I ain't honestly, gonna let you talk about her I'm good that's a challenge that we should do but I think so women, but hmm. more than black men but that's just my opinion. you said that's- what Courtney I said I think black women are more on board and ready to oh do for that sure than yeah black men are right now because I feel like I've seen black yeah. women step in the case I know that me like when like I was talking about the other extern and stuff like I was mm-hmm. working there she was the other extern but we kind of built like a bond real fast like not like close like we talking every day but like the understanding you know yeah. what I mean it's like when you're like the only black person in the room and you look for another black person just to feel yeah. that physical comfortability it's yeah. like that and I feel like black women are more inclined to do that we are even as a whole like men social yeah. issues social justice like whenever it's something with a black man black man black woman black women are the first ones to show up it yeah. takes black men a little while to get there when it comes to defending black women or taking up for us a long or even, time say, with me. Or a even long saying time. something on our behalf it's like we really have to call them out i this is how i feel i feel like we have to call them out on like dang like you ain't gonna have my back like after i had your back then it's like okay let us speak up and say something versus like it should be instant like even I mean, hate to say it, but it's like, even if we don't know the entire story, if we feel like you've been wrong, we can get the details later, but it's just like, I know he's been wrong. Like, it ain't right, but let me let me see what else happened and then we'll get the details. It's like, right. with black men, it's just like, I feel like sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, it's like, okay, wait a minute, let me let me get all the details first before I even like- and even when they do, they still them. don't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> even, even when they do, they still be like, I mean, they ain't got nothing to do with me. I mean, right. I hate that. But like, if I come come on. like, well, she shouldn't have been over there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, that is so crazy because we are, like you said, Courtney, I feel like we are more advanced in that area. Like, we are always, I feel like we're more so the ones that's going to be the first to respond when it comes to, like, you know, defending the black man. I feel like black men, they've been doing, you know, okay, but I feel like we're more advanced in that area. We I would are. like to see it more. Like, I really would like to see it more. I think that would be like so ideal. That's why a lot of the times when I hear like dialogue, when it's like a black woman say, oh, we go through this, we go through that. And then the black man is like, no, we go through this. It's like, y'all are really not hearing each other. Y'all are talking at each other, but y'all Making are really not listening and saying like, dang, like, let me understand what black women go through as a black man and black men uh black women like okay let me understand what black men go through and how can like if you saying like if you if both parties are on board it's like a black woman is saying how can i do what i need to do to make it you know i don't know more comfortable for the black man or whatever and he's doing the same thing for us it's just like that should be like a win-win like if i'm doing everything i can and they're doing everything they can like it should all work out perfectly. Like that's just, I guess that's just in a perfect world. Like I, I guess I'll tell you this. That I have started up. implementing. There'll that. always be competition. I, yeah. I, I started competition. implementing that. I I I don't I don't give black men a hard time as much anymore. <laughs> I like yeah. with dating and stuff. Like I just be like I, I ask questions now. I be like, are you looking at Courtney? <laughs> no, I mean I don't like. No, I mean, no, I'm not talking about for you specifically. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm, yeah. I, 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. She was like, nah. <laughs> because, because, um, real quick, because I was like, it hit me. Well, not hit me, but you know, I just been, you know, I'm older now, so I start to see, I pay attention to stuff more now. And I'm like, you know what? They do when they walk out the door, they do have a hard time. Like at their job, and they now they looking out for the police, and they people on the job getting on their damn nerves, and this and that. like they just yeah. got so much going on out in the world. So when they come in the house. That's their, like, how we, you know, we're trying to stop, well, me. I take my off and I'm, right, yeah. you know, yeah, like, right, so I right. think, like, when they come home, like, when they take them boots off, that uniform off, like, they just need to chill. So I'm not on them. I'm not on them like that. Like, hey, did you do, hey, you know, so I, I get more leeway now. <laughs> What's your hand up for, Courtney? <laughs> Ashley probably already know. But this is my thing, right? So not to be that person that's like, well, we do this. They <laughs> do that. But I'm just saying, like, we go through struggles too now. Yeah. I need peace and I get home as well. You, you're right. And that's why the guys that I talk to now, one of the things I always ask them, because I, you know, I do would like to have a family. I say, are you okay with um having a nanny? Because I don't want a man thinking I'm gonna be superwoman because I'm not doing it. Like I'm yeah. I'm not doing, I'm not gonna be running these businesses, uh hopping on you all the damn time cooking for you running after these damn <laughs> children doing homework i'm not doing all that like because yeah. you can't, i feel like that's when the problems come in bitch. huh i said just because you can doesn't mean you want to be super bitch yeah i don't want i don't i don't because I, I already know just from looking and observing and watching divorce court i know you can't do it all like you, you you're gonna be straight i love it i'm not gonna lie like because i'd be like taking notes yes. i'm not doing exactly it. yes i'm too. not doing it <laughs> you know okay they, okay you know um matter of fact i commented on something like two days ago uh it was about it was a couple a black couple from georgia i didn't know that they was even from georgia but um but i was watching it but he was saying they was trying to save for a house and she just like she just always want to go somewhere I always want to he's like we ain't got no money like she always he said she even called my job and scheduled a day off. He said, I went to work and my supervisor's like, what you doing here? You still got the day off. He was like, I didn't request no day off. He said his wife called up they, they took, to take the day off of him so they can go to on a trip. And so I commented under there, I was like, um, I said, oh, she like to travel. We need to be friends. I said, but not the type of friend where, because they said, they, he said, they ain't got no money. I said, but not the kind of friend where she got enough money to get there. But while we there, she's borrowing money from me. You know that lady comment, reply back to me. <laughs> <laughs> she replied back to me. I was like, ma'am, I don't know who you I mean, I mean, I know you was a real person, but I don't yeah. know she and she was like, I don't do that. I got my own money. I'm like, girl, I don't reply to strangers, but uh I know they watching. So now I be careful about the things I say under the divorce court um comment section. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I found out that they're from Georgia because I went on her page, they're from Georgia. I went to her husband page, he don't be up, they like that. Oh, you I know, know, but um, you know, but all right, so basically wrapping it up, uh, the comment was on um, black men and their un uncontrollable fuck the police mentality. Um, we just, overall, we want y'all to make it home safe. And we do understand that even when you comply, you still kind of get resistance a little bit, but just do, just think about coming home. We want you home. Like I said, I'd rather don't have me standing at that news conference crying and holding up a picture of you I'd rather you stand beside me and we talk about your experience and what happened and get this settlement and you can take me to Hawaii. Okay, you know. But um see you guys next Sunday, which will oh, Ashley, be Ashley, before you go, this kind of okay. tie in a little bit to what you was what we just talked about and what you kind of mentioned early earlier about the um love languages. Because I feel like, you know, whenever we just use the example of the man kind of coming home and he wants you know he's been through whatever and he kind of wants his peace whenever he comes home you know the woman like Courtney said could want the same peace and quiet or whatever the case <laughs> may be but I just feel like you just have to learn like how how to love your partner like somebody's maybe like okay some kind of acts of service or whatever and somebody else like <clears throat> may need like just words of affirmation like for you to just say you know I appreciate you you know, doing this for our kids, or I appreciate you doing this for me, or whatever the case may be, that might boost them up a little bit more. So mm -hmm. I think like touching all those love languages and stuff like that is, I think y'all said y'all did it before, but you know. Yeah, but we can bring it back. We can bring it back because now we, we sure got- can bring it back. 
as long as you want to be there to talk about it too, Whitney. Not the yeah. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, look, I, I'm not even asking Whitney to be up here. Whitney, up here. Like, <laughs> yes, um, I'm see, you bring you bring a different perspective, like because we all all three of us already um brought a different perspective and um Courtney did you tell her or was that more behind the scenes because when I had did the first flyer with you up there oh she was like, I said we look like we need a sitcom <laughs> oh <laughs> and look and and um she was like she said you look more like the business friend yeah and I said I said no Whitney looks more like the attorney our lawyer friend because she oh. get me out you know because I'm the hood one like you shouldn't yeah. get me out <laughs> that's funny she but, don't um, Mm-hmm. She Jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we you know what? Talking, we didn't even have that many talking. questions and stuff. We didn't. That's so crazy. We didn't really have no questions. You know, I feel like this time, maybe we're gonna have to look in, but I feel like this time, honestly, I feel like we was like talking to each other and like. We and, but it wasn't that. that many comments this time though. Like they're well, just yeah. watching. Ashley, when you go back, do another a uh, Sting question. There'll be in that comments again. No, I'm not that, Sting whenever question. I put like black this and black that, or you know, yeah, yeah can, you know yeah. how the news, you know how the media, like they have the headlines just to attract the people. We gotta have us like crazy headlines so they can be like, oh, I can't wait to get my <laughs> right. Yeah. If I put in there like parents and stuff, whatever, but I'm gonna come up with something. Um, yeah, <laughs> I got time to like because I be pulling stuff off of, uh off my timeline anyway. I'd be like, now she knows she's wrong for that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Question. I just <laughs> talk about yeah. this on the podcast, <laughs> right? Right, <laughs> and then also, everybody that's watching, like, if you got something that you want to talk about, inbox us, you know, and yeah. um, I'll see my DMs are open, yeah. Not for, for not podcast, for podcast say, stuff. For podcast stuff. For anything. <laughs> right. Not for podcast stuff. For for podcast right. specifically. You know what? Was you on the episode with me when, um, when we was talking about... Oh, no, no, no. I think that was just me and Courtney. When we was talking about the... um The... Uh, them dropping stuff in our uh, inboxes and stuff, like dick pictures and stuff. I think that was just... We talked oh, about... Oh, no. Yeah but it was just you and me when we talked about that. well it ain't stopping it this is steady going it's like energizing when it's steady going it's steady oh gosh going. have you you haven't gotten any uh flirting inboxes yet flirting yeah but not no um pictures you so you've never like posted like a picture or something or like a story and like automatically they seem to like a dick pic no ma'am <laughs> oh, it's, it's coming it's coming <laughs> <laughs> I wish somebody would. Well, you better as well go ahead and get ready. Uh-uh, <laughs> right. No, uh uh-uh, uh, no. I, I, is my crazy. question is I want to know who are the women and what does this do for them that, you know, that are like, oh, yes, send me more. Because there's a reason, like, if especially for someone I don't know who just automatically sent me that. Yeah, like, why would you do that? Like, I know. Who put it in your head like that was okay? Who, who said that? that I, was I don't know? want the penis pictures, but if you're going to send them, Make sure you all the way right. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want, I want paper towel roll pictures. I don't want <laughs> tissue. I don't want tissue roll pictures. I want paper towel roll pictures. You know. Oh my gosh. That I'm is saying. so funny. See, so, this is other stuff we gotta go through. Receiving unsolicited uh <laughs> peen pictures. Oh, we like, talked about it, but we can we can go there again. Okay. That, was, look, that was with the, the successfully single one. <laughs> Like now we can talk about it on the I noticed that these guys can right. drop in dick pictures, you know. I mean, I kind of like it a little bit, but if it's like paper towel pictures, not yeah. picture But from somebody random, like if you don't really if you never if you don't know me like that and we never had conversation, what would make you comfortable with even drop that in my inbox? I and only what, like what reaction I've asked for. <laughs> yeah and what what you expecting me to do like you want me to be like oh yeah you look good let's talk or like let's I mean, I, listen, somebody I, has I, to be for them to be doing it though Whitney that's the thing like someone has somebody to be like, well but you know what it was somebody they did it to somebody and the, somebody liked it and they feel like oh well, such and such like it let me see if I could just drop it on the next person and no you can't do that listen I had a guy I, I hadn't even known him 48 hours and um that's like it was around um New Year's Eve because 
his daughter was visiting and they had fireworks and all this other stuff. But anyway, so we had guys call. He was like, oh, I'm about to go take a shower. I was like, oh, okay. Next thing you know, I get a, a duo video. That thing slaying it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but I just didn't like, he was too skinny for me. But I was like, I said, okay, you working with something. But I didn't ask for that. It just came as a surprise, right. you know? But yeah, um, um, you know, I just thought about like some. I, maybe it's like you know how like some girls like all they can offer is their body. I think some guys be thinking the same thing because I done got one where the thing was like huge, bro. Like yeah, like, that's true. That might girl, be true. Yeah, but you, you fall right. On their age and they ain't about shit. But <laughs> that's true, shit. Courtney. <laughs> Yeah. If, he was, if he was a cleaner guy, and I'm not saying like hygiene wise, like if he if his life was like better. I probably would have like conversed with him a little bit more to find out what I did like though, you know. But I didn't want to because I'm like, you like 45, you stay with your mom. I don't think you employ, you got a mouth full of gold, like you oh, smoke gosh. weed. Like oh, I just I just didn't like it. I, that's I, a good I point. That's a good point though, Courtney. That's probably that's probably what it is. Like those type of guys who do things like that, because it's just like what else do you have? Like if and if you have anything better, you're gonna present your best to somebody. Like you know, if I feel like my personality or my whatever, I'm gonna let that. Only women think like that though. Men don't care about that. Yeah. I think they do. I really do think they do. Like I ain't about shit. I ain't got a car. I ain't got my own place with my <laughs> dick big. I didn't see girls oh, at crazy. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, that's what she means. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, I don't get the my dick is big. I get that um I love to eat pussy. And that's what I get. I get the I love to eat oh, pussy. Oh, you so mean I'm that's, like, the, that's the what you oh okay, I see what you Yeah, mean. so that's instead of them talking high. about their dick, they talk about yeah. I love to eat pussy time. Oh, I can do this. And I'm like, what they gotta do with me? Like, you hungry? <laughs> what the fuck they gotta do with me? You know what I mean? <laughs> but so so when they talk about stuff like that automatically that that lets me know like oh you just want a sexual relationship like that's what that right. is so i i go ahead and let them find what they're looking for because that ain't me so right y'all let me go they waiting on me at the casino so I'm gonna try to with that turn, you know. well all right then uh thank you guys and see you next sunday I... you too keista yeah. yeah keista we miss you you and your mystery bay. I'm, I'm about to start the research. I'm about to do the problem. Oh, gosh. And then put on your hat. Put on your hat. Put on your hat. Guess what? What? I forgot to record. <laughs> but it's on oh. Facebook Live. It's on Facebook Live. I, I forgot to record. Okay, but so I, is there something we need to make sure we check off the list every time? Yeah, we let me know. Yeah, be like, hit record. Okay. I did not. But I can pull it off of Facebook, but I just like it to automatically like yeah. in my, my folder but all right y'all bye all right, bye y'all bye.